Well, it was a big victory for us today. Um, I was proud of how our guys have responded. Obviously, the beginning of the season hasn't gone the way that we anticipated it going, but today was a step in the right direction. Uh, we were able to build off last week and then also come in here today and uh, complement each other well. Defense played great. Our offense uh, played well throughout the day. Guys made big plays in the passing game. Our offensive line, I mean, th they were unbelievable today against a very, very good uh, pass rushing defense and gave me time to throw all day. So our offensive line did such an outstanding job. And uh, special teams showed up as well. Ryan suck up. I mean, what can you say? Uh, I think he had, what, four field goals, something five. like that? Five? Five, five field five goals. Teamwork. Yeah, I'm not doing my math too well right now. But I mean, the, the 50, 54 yarder, was it? It was uh, unbelievable. You should have seen the excitement on the sideline. It was fun to see. So it was just a good victory for us. Well, I, I think that it was part of the game plan this week was to set up some play action and also set up some drop back. We thought that we had some opportunities down the field to throw the ball, and uh, it worked out well for us today. Matt, there was a part there in the second period where down by the goal line, getting down the ball on that screen, came over and had a conversation with Coach Haley. Mm. He couldn't remember the specific time. I'm sure that you remember the specific time. There was some conversation back and forth, like Thomas Jones set you down the bench and talking back and forth. That seemed to kind of Ignite the team a little bit. What, what went on there? And, and I know those things happen during games, but right. just explain that situation a little bit. Um, you know, to be completely honest, I mean, it was such a long game. I don't remember specifics of it, but um, I think it probably was just a misunderstanding on both parties, and it's a heated game, heated discussion, and then you move forward, and, and that's what our team did, and that's what I did. And, um, you know, those things happen, and they, they happen throughout the year and they happen constantly, then sometimes they catch it, sometimes they don't. And, uh, you know, it's just part of the game and you move forward. Todd says that he uh, coaches you guys hard. There's a freedom for an open dialogue. Do you, do you like that? Does it, I mean, does it work well for you? You know, I, I seem to respond well to when I'm, I'm pushed, to when uh, my back's up against the wall and coach tries to create an environment even in practice where he challenges you and he rides you and he does that thing because what he wants to make it is an environment when you get to the game, when you get to game day on Sunday, that it's easy. And you, you've dealt with it throughout the week. You've dealt with it, you know, before. So um, I understand, understand, you know, his purpose. And uh, I also like the open dialogue as well that he's able to have with his players. Okay, wait a minute. You're down the ball and then you go to the sideline and you and coach are having your motivational speaking time and then McLean pushes you apart, and then all of a sudden Matt Castle comes out like, I'll show you. Did you have just another gear? Is that what you're talking about, that he just knows how to bring that out in people? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily know. If it, I mean, hopefully that's not what motivates me on a consistent basis. I wouldn't want to go through that. So, um, But, you, you know, it just turned, turned out that way. We came out in the second half, and we came out firing, and. Uh, we, we did a great job. Like I said, those receivers made great plays. Bre Steve Breston continues to show up and does a great job. Dwayne Bowe, week in and week out, he's as consistent as we've had. And, um, you know, hopefully we can build off this. Yeah, but in the locker room, I heard you gave quite a speech. Your uh, teammates are saying you fired everybody up. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm just. I'm proud of, like I said, this this team, how they've responded to some adversity early on in the season, and uh, these guys continue to stick together, you know. And we're not going to um, fold. We're not going to be one of those teams that you know you see that is going to go out there and and struggle through when people say that we can't do something, you know. And, and that's the big part about moving forward is sticking together, and this team did. Couple more guys. Can you walk us through the pass to Bo? The, I think it was 52 yards. Just what you saw on that. Mm -hmm. It was a great um, adjustment on the sideline by our coaching staff. They saw that they were jumping some of those routes, intermediate routes, and so we thought we had an opportunity. And um, they just didn't put it in. We didn't have it in the game plan. They put it in on the sideline, and you, they said that you know he's been jumping. So I pumped him, and sure enough, it, it opened up just like we thought it would. And Dwayne did a great job. Once he gets that ball in his hand, there's no refusing him when he tries to get into that end zone. You thought he was going to score there he kind of shows some people the side. I told him he better score. <laughs> We're able to look at the photos and go through it, and uh, it, like I said, it, uh, our hats. I mean, my hat goes off to the coaching staff because they did a great job of seeing that adjustment and uh, and making it. Was the play at the end of the first half? Was that supposed to be a screen to uh, the play, or it seemed like something went wrong there? I don't even remember the play to be completely honest. Matt, I know you addressed this, but how 
big of a win, how big is the monkeys off your back. When these guys came in, they were hooting and hollering like they just won a championship. Mm -hmm. It seemed like this meant so much. Can you even put into words just holding on, winning this game, and using this as a springboard? Yeah, you know, like I said, obviously the season hasn't started the way that any of us anticipated, but this team stuck together, and this was a huge victory for us. And, you know, we need to remember how this feels, you know, because it feels great. And I think everybody was just excited, you know, that we finally played a game that everybody played together in all phases of the uh, of the of the team. We worked together, and it was a great team victory. And, um, you know, all that hard work that you continue to put in, it, it pays off. So hopefully we can continue to do that. Last, last week, uh, Todd said he gave you a hug. Did you guys, was there any apology or anything after that, or just kind of just move forward? About the, the little, little walk towards the end of the first half, where, I mean, where you guys were going at him, do you apologize for maybe getting out of line, or are you back at him? Because it seems like both of you guys were saying it was a good, a good thing in the end. Oh, well, you know, like I said, it's just part of the game. You hug, you make up, you give high fives, you, and you just move forward with the next play, and that's, that's football. Okay.